Welcome back. You're watching Wisconsin Women, and we're meeting with all of our guests today. Crazy Lenny's E-Bikes. That's on Odana Road, west side of Madison. Stick with us. We're going to learn more about e-bikes. Tis the season, after all, no to get outside. Right now, though, we're talking bath bombs. And if you're one of the two and a half million views of the making of the world's largest bath bomb, you probably know what goes into those things and what gives them the fragrance and the fizz of that 2,000-pound bath bomb. <laughs> if you missed it, though, we've got someone here that's going to share all the inside scoop on what goes into those. Right now, this is Alyssa Kreeb. She's the owner of l l Bath Bombs. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me. So when they rolled this uh, giant bath bomb into a swimming pool to see what happened, they said, don't do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> and you are doing this at home for your business, yeah. and you brought some ingredients to show us how you do it. What did you bring in? Yeah, so I just brought some, some of them, not everything. Um, just wanted to bring some things to kind of show everyone what some stuff I do put in them. This is behind the scenes yes. action here. Yeah, yeah. So this first one is one of my scents that I use. Um, <laughs> it's not open, so you can't Aww. smell it, but. <laughs> oh. Yeah, country apple. Yes, oh, that is one of my favorites, ones, isn't wow. it? Mm -hmm. And the scents that you have on these bath bombs are amazing. Yeah. So it's got to be hard to choose. Yeah, it, it is really hard to choose. Does your house smell really good? <laughs> it does. I feel like. it does. I'm used to it, but anyone that comes in there is like, oh, it smells really good in here. Oh. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. And, and so what else? You, you have scents. Yeah. So this is actually what makes the the foam in the bath oh. bombs and that's it makes your skin really soft. Oh, They're like a yes. little chemist yes. in there. Kind of. yes. <laughs> Sodium lauryl sulfoacetate. Yeah, hey, sure. good yes. Yes. goodness. Yes. Sure. <laughs> oh goodness. And, and then, then these look nice and colorful. These are fun. Yes, those are all the colors. Um, that one's a neon color. Oh, so that was probably uh -huh. for this one? I said, yep. Oh. Okay. Makes cool. sense. And then that one is also a neon. Oh, I've seen your yellow yeah. one. You have a lemon. She oh. has a lemon bath bomb that mm. is just the bomb. The, <laughs> the bomb. sorry, <laughs> but it is. It's incredible, yeah. and you wouldn't expect to love lemon that much, but it is like I think my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Of yours too. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep, and fun. that one is probably one of my favorite colors because it's really sparkly and just kind of fun. <laughs> it's a really pretty color. Love that. Yeah. So you okay. use all of these ingredients to make these bath bombs? Is that what? Um, these are some of them, but yeah, I mean the main ingredients are the citric, citric, citric acid okay. and um, baking soda, wow. and the, that's what makes the fizz really. Oh, so, yeah, fun, fun, fun. It's amazing. Yeah. So, how did you decide when you started what ingredients to use? How did did you have to do some back research, or how do you pick? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I started just by looking at random recipes, but mm -hmm. once I started doing it, I realized I wanted to get like quality ingredients and not just buy like cheap stuff. So yeah. um, so really, I mean, I just kind of did a lot of research and kind of just. And as you picked. go along and you try and you decide yeah. that, yeah, I like this way better. Is there anything new that you've been uh, incorporating? Well, I'm thinking about actually starting to put coconut oil, which mm. is oh, that is, one. Is that what this is? Because this is a white bath bomb. That is just a coconut scent. It doesn't have any oil in it. OK. Um, but I thought about, some. yeah, I thought about the coconut ones starting to put coconut oil in them. Yeah. In the so. bath bomb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that will yeah. be really moisturizing because the benefit right. of a bath bomb is that not only does it make the uh, the bath water smell good, but it also can make your skin soft. It's it a does. moisturizer, right? Right. Right. Very nice. And that's yep. nice to know because typically sometimes baths can actually dry out your skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From what I understand. And right. this is primrose oil. Are you using this? Or yeah, this? it's something new I just researched. Um, again, it is a moisturizer, but it also helps with skin aging too. Mm. So, oh, sign oh, me up. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so let's so. talk a little bit about the reason we love l and bath bombs is because you do such good back work and you make sure your ingredients are really high quality mm -hmm. and they smell amazing, mm -hmm. doesn't hurt. But where can viewers find your bath bombs? Because you can actually buy them here locally, locally made and locally oh. sold. Mm -hmm. Great. Both of the Metcalfs have them. Um, and then my in my hometown, I have them at my grocery store, Burrison's. And then a salon, Kate's Hair Salon, and then there's a boutique store in Monticello. Um, so right now, just five locations. Um, right now, that keeps me pretty busy. Yeah, I so. bet. <laughs> Where's your hometown? Yeah. In Belleville. Okay, Belleville. Yeah. Great. So for the Madison folks, the Metcalfs are yes, both of them have them. Where yeah. you want to go to get a yeah. yeah. What a great yeah. little fun gift just to take to a girlfriend, mm -hmm. maybe yes. and perk up someone's oh, yes. day. Yep. Or maybe after your e-bike ride, you might need a bath. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, Alyssa Creeps with L and L Bath Bombs. We'll be right back. <laughs> 